Hey, welcome back to Real Food Blog. I'm really excited about this episode to share with you, which is our family's pasta dough recipe. So it's pretty hot today, and I didn't want to boil any lasagna noodles. In fact, we're out of lasagna noodles. So I'm going to make a batch, one batch of dough and roll them out to make our lasagna. And I have a new toy, a new uh, convection oven that's going to be able to cook that lasagna in 25 minutes. So that's just that's a side note, but that's beside the point. I'm showing you today how to do our family's traditional uh, pasta dough. And you don't need any fancy gadgets, you don't need any fancy equipment, you just need these fancy gadgets, okay? Your hands, that's all you need for this, okay? So let's show you what we're working with. Basically, it's only extra virgin olive oil, some salt, some eggs, and some flour, okay? It's all that's in the pasta, okay? And so, one of the keys, though, to this pasta is making sure you let the uh, eggs come to room temperature, okay? They incorporate way better into the dough than if you don't, if, you, if they're cold, okay? That's a baker's trick, too. It also works well with pasta, okay? So that's just a side note to that. So you need four eggs, a teaspoon of salt, and two, I'm sorry, three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and two cups of flour. This recipe is also posted on the blog, so you can check that out and do a search for raviolis or do a search for pasta dough. I'm sure it'll be on the pasta dough. So one of the tricks is I'm showing you, you put the two cups of flour on a, on a, on a um, cutting board, okay? And you're gonna make a well, okay? So have you ever seen a volcano before where it's got the walls on the side of the volcano and in the middle it's empty, it's, 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 it's got a well down in there? That's what you want it to look like. So I don't know if you can see that, right? You can see that it's got the sides to the wall, okay, or the mountain, if you will, right? And then it's got the well, uh, the hole in the center, which is what we're gonna fill put the eggs in, the salt, and the, the and the extra virgin olive oil, okay? So, I'm going to do that. We're going to put the whole, whole egg in, okay? All four of them go in first, or to this, is going to, first thing that we're going to put in to our well, okay? Then, a pinch of salt, well, it's a teaspoon of salt, okay? And three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Okay? So, then with a fork, okay, with a fork, we are going to bring this dough, okay, together. But first what we're going to do is we're going to beat the eggs into the well, okay, until they have, um, until you scramble them into this mixture. And basically what is going to end up happening, this mixture is going to end up looking like, in the middle of it, okay, the middle of this well, is going to end up looking like um, pancake batter, okay? And I'm going to show you that in a second. So this is one of the most important processes of, of, making, this, of making the dough, okay, is actually working with this, and you may have to work several minutes until it gets to where it wants, okay? And we'll show you that. Okay, so now that we've taken a couple minutes to work the center of the well of the dough, you can see that it's changed, right, significantly, right? The eggs have been incorporated, the olive oil has been incorporated, the salt has been incorporated in there, but the batter still is pretty wet, okay? It's almost like a pancake batter at this point. And so what I'm going to do now, okay, is I'm going to slowly start incorporating the sides of your volcano, the sides of the well, okay? I'm going to start incorporating those now into the dough, okay? And I'll show you how that works here if I can get my angle right, okay? So basically, now that we've gotten this far, okay, with the process, now, we're going to slowly, okay, there, let's see that better. We're going to slowly start bringing the walls in while you're mixing, okay? And what's going to happen is you're, the, it's going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. And then pretty soon, it's going to be so thick 
okay, that it's going to that's going to start transforming into a ball, and then we're going to continue to knead it out here, and we'll. Okay, so now you can see that we, as we continue to stir the well, that we've broken down the size of the walls and incorporated it, that now this well has become a ball, okay? Now you can actually stop using your fork and you can actually start kneading this. And we're going to knead it by hand for literally 10 minutes, okay? And you can put this in the KitchenAid mixer at this point if you'd like as well. You need it for about five minutes in the KitchenAid mixer. But again, I don't like to use those fancy gadgets and equipment just because I like to be able to do this wherever I'm at. So we're going to show you this uh, when we get there. Okay, so now we've got, we needed it for at least 10 minutes. And now you can see the dough is elastic. It's smooth. It rolls out. It's, it's just, it's smooth. Look at this. Look at that. It's smooth. Okay, when you push it, it comes, it bounces back. Okay, now at this point, now we're going to let this rest for 30 minutes, okay, and then we can roll it out and then we'll show you that process. So, what we want to do is take it, okay, take some plastic wrap, okay, take a little bit of flour, and put a little bit of flour on the top, a little bit of flour on the bottom so that the plastic doesn't end up sticking okay but you want to keep this on the countertop let it rest for at least 30 minutes and then we'll show you the, the, the following process okay so now the dough has had at least 30 minutes to rest now we're going to take it and we're going to divide it into quarters okay so cut it in half and then cut it into quarters and you're going to take off a quarter of the dough, okay, to roll out a, to roll out whatever you're gonna roll out. In this case, we're using it to make lasagna noodles, which is pretty darn easy because all you do is roll them out and cut them into big strips, okay, with either a pizza cutter or one of these fancy ones, okay. So basically, now we're home free, okay. Now. You've got to have a machine with a die to do spaghetti, linguine. Well, actually, you could do linguine. You could do. You could actually make this in strips, make linguine. But basically, when you do when you do it by hand like this, you're only going to get lasagna and linguine noodles or fettuccine noodles out of it. You need a die to get anything else. If you do penne, obviously you're not going to do that by hand. You need a die that's going to work through a machine or the spaghetti. But at least you can get two pastas down, right? The lasagna and fettuccine or even linguine by just making strips of them, okay? So basically, we're just going to roll this out. And the key to rolling out the dough is making sure you're working with a floured rolling pin and a floured surface, not too floured, okay? But also making sure that you're evenly rolling, which means you keep turning the dough as we're rolling and stretching it out, okay? So keep it even, like I said. Keep it even, okay? And just keep doing this. And I usually do it into a rectangle, okay, until it gets to where I want it to. And we'll show you that. Okay, so I know I said I usually roll this out to a rectangle, but I decided to do a square so it would be easier to cut for the lasagna. I'm using an 8x8 um, Pyrex pan here. So I want you to see what we've got. We've rolled it out, okay, you can see that, it, that it's pretty translucent, okay. It's dough is incredible by the way okay it's perfect so now we're going to basically figure out okay what size are we going to cut from this one batch of the dough okay actually one quarter batch of the dough right so we'll put the I'm going to put the uh, baking dish down just so I can get an idea of you know how do I want to cut this you know and so what I'm going to do so I'm going to cut it into strips, just like lasagna, okay? And it's not going to be perfect, but that's okay, okay? Because it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? You're making this, okay? So then...
you can actually save these scraps and cover them and use them and roll out, re-roll the dough as well. So now I've got my strips. So now I can start making my lasagna. But that's how easy it is to make pasta dough. Okay. So uh, from our family to yours, thank you for watching Roll Food Blog. Let us notice your feedback on this video, and we love to hear that. And we'll see you next time, right here on Roll Food Blog.